हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी लेट्स सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट द बोल्ड इज सब्जेक्टेड टू द फोर्स एफ व्हिच हैज कंपोनेंट्स एक्टिंग अलोंग एक्स वाई एंड जेड एक्सिस इज इज शोन इफ द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द फोर्स एफ इज 80 न्यूटन्स एंड अल्फा एंड गेमा आर अल्फा इज 60 डिग्रीज एंड गेमा इज 45 डिग्रीज सो वी हैव टू डिटरमाइन द मैग्नीट्यूड्स ऑफ इट्स कंपोनेंट्स राइट सो the direction of this force f is specified in terms of the coordinate direction angles that is alpha beta and gamma with the positive x y and z axis is right so as we know that the unit vector of this particular vector f will be equal to cos of alpha i right and as we can see that the f of y component of this given vector is acting in the negative y direction right so then this will be minus cos of beta j right since the f of y component is acting in the negative y direction so with cos of beta we need to write minus j right and similarly we can write that this will be uh, plus cos of gamma k right or we can write in other words that f of x will be equal to f cos of alpha f of y will be equal to f cos of beta but is it but it is acting in the negative y direction and similarly f of z will be equal to f cos of gamma right so if we write this uh, f as a cartesian vector so then this vector f will be equal to f cos of alpha i minus f cos of beta j and plus f cos of gamma k right so as we know that the magnitude of f and alpha and gamma are given right so the beta angle is not known right alpha and gamma angles are given beta is not known and this is this is the f of x component this one is f of y component and this one is f of z component right and if i take f common from this so then this is cos alpha i minus cos beta j and this is plus cos gamma k right and as we know that since this is the unit vector we can write that this is f magnitude times the unit vector of this force f right so let's say that this this is let's say force f so we will write f the unit vector along this force f right so now as we can see that this uh, direction cosine this is cos of alpha and this this is cos of beta but with negative sign right so is we know that uh, since the magnitude of unit vector is 1 so we can write that uh, cos cos alpha square plus minus cos beta square plus cos gamma whole square this will be equal to 1 remember right so now we can write that minus cos of beta square is equal to 1 minus cos square alpha minus cos square gamma right and if we take the square root so then this will be minus cos beta right we can write it like this as well right so if we take this square root so then we will have this thing so i have revised this whole procedure for only this negative sign this negative sign is very important right this negative sign is very important is is you you people know that we already use this formula we we have already this formula in mind that cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma this will always be equal to 1 so now in this particular case if you if we use this formula to find cos square beta so cos square beta will be 1 minus cos square alpha minus cos square gamma right and if i put values in this equation right if i take the square root as well right so if i write that 1 minus cos 
square alpha so alpha is 60 minus cos square gamma and gamma is 45 degrees so if i find this cos beta value using this so then we can write that this is 1 minus uh, cos 60 square minus cos 45 square so this gives me 0.5 value right so this is point cos of beta is 0.5 right so now if i take cos inverse then this should give us beta angle right so beta is cos inverse 0 0.5 right so cos inverse 0 0.5 so this is 60 degrees right so beta is 60 degrees so now as we can see that this beta angle this beta angle is not 60 degrees it's greater than 60 degrees so this means that this beta value is not accurate right and the reason is this negative sign right so this means that if i take the square root so then uh, we in this particular case in this particular problem since the fy is acting in the negative y direction so this means that this 0.5 value is equal to minus cos of beta right since since we have eliminated since the square eliminates this negative sign right and in this formula we don't care about the negative sign right since uh, this uh, this square removes that negative sign out of the equation right so this means that in this particular problem minus cos of beta is equal to 0 0.5 right and from here it is also obvious right that this this is minus cos of beta right so minus cos of beta is 0 0.5 right so now if i write that cos of beta is minus 0 0.5 and then i take uh, cos inverse beta cos inverse 0 0.5 if i take cos inverse again so this is shift cos inverse minus 0 0.5 so now this will give me the accurate angle that is 120 degrees right so beta is 120 degrees right so from this whole discussion we can conclude that whenever a given component is acting in the negative direction so then the cause of beta value will be negative or cause of gamma value will be negative if the component if this f of x component was acting in the uh, negative x direction so then cause of alpha value will be negative right and using this equation this equation will always give us the uh, the angle for the positive components right since this equation do not include the negative signs right since the square eliminates the negative sign out of the equation right so in this particular case beta is 120 degrees so now if beta is known we can find the components right now it's very easy f of x is equal to f cos of alpha and f magnitude is 80 so 80 cos of alpha similarly f of y will be 80 cos of beta and similarly fz will be equal to 80 uh, cos of gamma right and alpha is 60 degrees beta is now known which is 120 degrees and gamma is 45 degrees so 80 cos of 60 is 40 right so f of x is 40 newtons f of y is also 40 newtons we, if you calculate this so then this is also 40 newtons and f of z is 80 cos of 45 so this is 56.57 56.57 newtons right so if we want to represent this force f as a cartesian vector so then we can write that this force f we can write this force f as a cartesian vector like this so this will be 40i minus 40j right this is f of y which is 40 magnitude is 40 but it is acting in the negative direction right and this is plus 56.57k 
right. So, this is the solution of this particular problem, but the main point in this whole discussion is that whenever the component is acting in the negative direction, so cause of beta or cause of gamma or cause of alpha value will be negative, right. So, remember.